Hi, I'm Mark from Northeast Power Systems and welcome to Nepsi Factory Talk. Today we're going to look at the Nokian NC12 Power Factory Controller and specifically we're going to look at how we can uh, fix a, an incorrect power factor reading. Um, and, and this happens oftentimes when we install a unit, uh, the CT polarity is incorrect or it's on the wrong phase, for instance. And the CT we're talking about here is for sensing uh, current uh, on your bus that you're trying to correct. And the output of the CT feeds the Nokian NC12. And in this case, it's on it's supposed to be on C phase. But if it's not, we have a way uh, of correcting that. And I'll show you how that works. So here's the meter. Front panel you have push buttons and we'll look inside at the back of the meter. There's a long connector at the bottom and the right hand side you'll see an orange wire and a yellow wire and that's actually your input from your CT, the secondary from the CT which is out in the switch gear usually on uh, on the uh, main bus, uh, the main uh, circuit breaker. Uh, there's also uh, voltage input, and the meter needs both voltage and current in order to work. The voltage may come from a uh, VT that's installed in the bank and it's uh, operational when the uh, medium voltage is connected, or it could be a separate source, a VT coming from. Uh, elsewhere in the, in, on the network. In any case, we need both inputs and uh, the voltage, you can look on the front panel, it, it will, it'll display if it's present and you'll be able to verify just by looking at the meter. But on the other hand, the current is uh, coming from elsewhere, so we may not, we may not be able to, to see that on the front of the meter. One way to check for uh, current is where it comes into the bank usually there's a shorting switch and the purpose of this is to allow you to isolate the meter from the CT so that you can make changes or swap out the meter and we need to make sure this shorting switch is not open or not closed in any, in any case uh, pulled forward is closed and pushed in is open. Operating mode would be pushed in and that's telling us that the CT is not shorted and the secondary current can flow through the meter. So this is as far as we can go within the bank. If there's a problem outside of the bank, we need to know that. The, the CT itself could be shorted or the wiring could be missing. And one way to verify that is if we know that uh, there's load on the bus, for instance, we can use a AC uh, amp meter to actually look at one leg of the CT and see if there's any current there. And if your meter is, is fairly accurate, you can take the reading you get and multiply it by the CT ratio if you know what that is. So, for instance, if your CT is a 2005 and you read one amp here, you know you can multiply that one times 400, which is a 2005 CT, and that would represent 400 amps. And it gives you a rough idea um, whether or not uh, what you're seeing here is, is reflective of what's actually happening out on the bus. Okay, so assuming that we have current here and it's roughly correct, and yet your power factor is not displaying correctly, we can go into the meter and make some changes, and I'll show you how to do that. This is the default measurement menu, and we want to hit escape here. Brings us to another menu. Right now, measurements is selected. 
you toggle down to parameters, hit enter. It's going to ask us for a code, and the code is the plus and minus buttons pushed together and held in. And that takes us into the parameters application. From here we want to scroll down with the down arrow key, look at our CT value, make sure that's correct and it reflects what's actually out there. Scroll down, gives us our some voltage uh, uh, inputs, our parameters. And finally we get to wiring and this tells us how the meter is actually connected to your bus. And in this case, the voltage phase is on L1 and L2, which is phase A and B. CT should be located on C phase L3. And the polarity of the CT will be automatically determined by the meter. Now, if your power factor is doesn't look correct, it's got a minus sign or it's a, a low number that doesn't make any sense, uh, you can come in here and you can edit this, these values and try and get the power factor to read correctly. In order to edit, we need to hit enter, put the meter in editing mode, and it'll draw a box around the L1, L2, and you can toggle up and down and change that. For instance, if your voltage is actually on phase A and C, you can make the change here. Phase B uh, and C, you can make the change. And uh, you can also scroll to the next value, which is where the CT is located, and you can change that location. So within internal to the meter, it's going to make these changes. It'll be, uh, uh, you won't see it other than in here, but it'll reflect on the actual power factor reading. So this is a little bit of a hit and miss thing. Uh, we always assume that that the uh, VT and the CT are hooked up according to uh, the one line drawings, but sometimes they're not correct. And that's th those are the times you'd have to go in and make those these changes here. So if you make a change, you need to hit enter to save the change. That'll bring you out of editing mode. Hit escape, brings you back to the main menu, and then scroll up to measurements and enter. And now you're back to the measurement screen, and hopefully you've made the correction and your power factor now reflects what's actually happening. You may have to go back into that wiring mode several times and try different combinations in order to get the reading correct. Uh, this happens frequently, but uh, like I said, if the wiring is not correct, this is a way to, uh, to get around it without actually physically changing the wiring. That's it. Thank you.